रोड मेपमेंट रोड पेमेंट रोड पेमेंट और रिलेटिवली स्टेबल लेयर कंस्ट्रक्टेड ओवर द नेचुरल सोइल फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ सपोर्टिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग द व्हील लोड एंड प्रोवाइडिंग एन एडुकेट सर्फेस फॉर द मूवमेंट ऑफ व्हीकल्स मे बी डिफाइन एज रोड पेमेंट और रिलेटिवली स्टेबल लेयर कंस्ट्रक्टेड ओवर द नेचुरल सोइल फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ सपोर्टिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग द व्हील लोड एंड प्रोवाइडिंग एन एडुकेट सर्फेस फॉर द मूवमेंट ऑफ व्हीकल मे बी डिफाइन एज द रोड पेमेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पेमेंट फ्लेक्जिबल पेमेंट रिजिट पेमेंट सेमी रिजिट पेमेंट कंपोजिट पेमेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पेमेंट में फ्लेक्जिबल पेमेंट रिजिट पेमेंट सेमी रिजिट पेमेंट कंपोजिट पेमेंट फ्लेक्जिबल पेमेंट फ्लेक्जिबल पेमेंट्स आर डूज विच आर सर्फेस विथ विटामिनस और ऑसफाल्ट एंड मेटेरियल्स फ्लेक्जिबल पेमेंट फ्लेक्जिबल पेमेंट्स आर डूज विच आर सर्फेस विथ विटामिनस और ऑसफाल्ट मेटेरियल्स इट इज इसेंशियली अ लेयर्ड सिस्टम विच हेज लो फ्लेक्चर फ्लेक्चरल स्ट्रेंथ ड्यू टू विच द पेमेंट डिफ्लेक्स मोमेंटरिली अंडर लोड बट रिबाउंड टू इट्स ओरिजिनल लेवल ऑन रिमुवल अफ लोड इट इज इट इज इसेंशियली अ लेयर्ड सिस्टम विच हेज लो फ्लेक्चरल स्ट्रेंथ ड्यू टू विच द पेमेंट डिफ्लेक्स मोमेंटरिली अंडर लोड बट रिबाउंड टू इट्स ओरिजिनल लेवल ऑन रिमुवल अफ लोड इट्स लेयर reflect the deformation of the lower layers on the onto the surface of the layer uh, that is if the lower layer of the pavement or soil subgrade is undulated the pavement gets undulated its layer reflect the deformation of the lower layers lower layer layers on the surface of onto the surface of the layer uh, that is if the lower layer of the pavement or soil subgrade is undulated the pavement gets undulated transmits the particle or compressive stresses to the lower layers by grain to grain transfer through the point of contact in a granular structure transmits the particle or compressive stresses to the lower layers by grain to grain transfer through the point of contact in a granular structure flexible flexible pavement consists of four layers soil subgrade sub base cores base cores surface cores Uh, consists of four layer soil subgrade sub sub base cores base cores surface cores the topmost layer is surfacing cores for the purpose of providing a smooth abrasion resistance dust proof and strong layer the topmost layer is surfacing cores for the purpose of providing a smooth abrasion resistance uh, dust proof and strong layer the base cores which lies immediately next below the medium through which the stresses imposed are distributed consist consistency the base cores which lies immediately next below the medium through which the stresses imposed are distributed consistency additional help in disturbing the loads is provided by the sub base and finally to the sub grade is compacted natural lot additional help in disturbing the loads is provided by the sub base and finally to the sub grade is compacted natural lot Uh, rigid pavement the the rigid pavements are made of portland cement concrete either plain reinforced or prestressed concrete the rigid pavement are made of portland cement concrete either plain or reinforced or prestressed concrete in a in a rigid pavement the concrete slab acts as a wearing surface and distributes the loads in a rigid pavement the concrete slabs acts as the wearing surface and distributes the loads The slab may be directly placed on the subgrade or in case of weak soil the slab may be directly placed on the subgrade or in case of weak soil a base or sub base may be provided between slab and the subgrade a base or sub base may be provided between the slab and the subgrade <coughs> semi rigid pavement semi rigid pavement when bonded materials like lean concrete or soil cement are used in a base course or sub base layer of the pavement they are called semi rigid pavement when bonded materials like lean concrete or soil cement are used in a base course or sub base layer of the pavement they are called semi rigid pavement they have relatively higher flexural strength than a common flexible pavement layer they have relatively higher flexural strength than a common flexible pavement layer they have low resistance to impact and abrasion and Therefore, are usually provided with flexible pavement surface cores. 
so when intermediate classes of materials are used in base or sub base they are called semi rigid pavement <coughs> composite pavement composite pavement it comprises of multiple structurally significant layers of the different composition example bricks brick sandwich cement concrete brick sandwich com cement concrete quality of pavement quality of pavement structurally sound to withstand the stresses structurally sound to withstand the stresses sufficient thickness to distribute loads sufficient thickness to distribute loads should be dust proof should be dust proof smooth enough for comfort di driving smooth enough for comfort driving should develop low friction for low resistance to movement should develop lo low friction for low resistance to movement should have an adequate roughness to prevent skidding should have an should have an adequate roughness to prevent skidding should be impermeable should be impermeable impermeable good pavement to provide a stable non yielding sub surface for the movement of vehicle good pavement to provide a stable non yielding surface for the movement of vehicle <coughs> difference between rigid and flexible pavement high design accuracy less design accuracy life period about 40 years uh, generally varies from 10 to 20 years maintenance less maintenance cost more maintenance cost initial cost more initial cost less initial cost surface characteristics so good good surface characteristics worse compared to rigid penetration of water practically impervious except joints pervious than rigid pavement utility location difficult to locate utility utilities after construction e.g. as compared to rigid pavement night visibility needs less street light needs more street light due to blackish color traffic dislocation requires 14 to 28 days to open the traffic uh, open for traffic within 24 hours environmental condition less hazardous most are hazardous due to hot mixed plant overall economy economical uneconomical loads and other factors controlling pavement loads and other factors controlling pavement traffic and loading factors environmental factors pavement component materials failure criteria traffic and loading factors environmental factors pavement component materials failure criteria traffic and loading factors the thickness of pavement depends upon the design wheel load the thickness of pavement depends upon the design wheel load higher wheel load need thicker pavement higher wheel load need thicker pavement the various wheel load factors to be considered in pavement design are the various wheel factors to be considered in pavement with design are maximum wheel design maximum wheel design the wheel load configuration are important to know the way in which the loads of given vehicle are applied on a pavement surface the wheel load configuration are important to know the way in which the loads of given vehicle are applied on a pavement surface <coughs> the maximum wheel load values control the design of pavement thickness the maximum wheel load values control the design of pavement thickness the weight the weight of the individual axle is called as axle load the weight of individual axle is called as axle load traffic consists of mixture of axle loads of varying magnitudes traffic consists of mixture of axle load of varying magnitudes the simplified the simplified and widely used practice is to express the traffic in terms of an equivalent number of standard axles the simplified the simplified and widely used practice in is to express the traffic in terms of an equivalent number of, of standard axles standard axle load is the axle load based on which the calculation related to the payment damage have been standardized standard <laughs> axle load is the axle load based on which the calculation related to payment design payment damage have been standardized standard design practice is different for the different countries as per standard standard design practice is different for the countries as per standard country in country standard wheel load india 8.816 uk 10.17 japan netherlands and sweden 10 10.00 european community 11.25 belgium france greece luxembourg 13.0 italy 12.0 asto 9.8 axle configuration axle configuration an axle is a central shaft for a rotating vehicle or a rotating wheel or gear an axle is a central shaft for a rotating wheel or gear single axle with single wheel legal axle load equal to 60 single axle with dual wheel legal axle load equal to 10t tandem axle legal axle load equal to 80t 
ट्रीडियम ट्रीडम एक्जल ट्रीडियम एक्जल लीगल एक्जल लोड इक्वल ट्वेंटी फोर्टी सिंगल एक्जल विथ डुअल लोड ट्वेंटी सिंगल एक्जल सिंगल विल सिक्सटी टेन टेन एक्जल विथ डबल विल्स लीगल एक्जल लोड एटीन टी ट्राइडम एक्जल विथ डबल विल्स लीगल एक्जल लोड ट्वेंटी फोर्टी कॉन्टैक्ट प्रेसर द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अफ विल लोड इज कन्सिडर्ड एज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ओवर अ सर्कुलर एरिया बट बाई एक्चुअल मेजरमेंट इट इज फाउंड टू बी इलिप्टिकल द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अफ विल लोड इज कन्सिडर्ड एज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ओवर अ सर्कुलर एरिया बट बाई एक्चुअल मेजरमेंट इट इज फाउंड टू बी इलिप्टिकल स्ट्रेस और प्रेसर डेवलप ड्यू टू द व्हील लोड ओवर द टायर टायर प्रिंटेड इज नॉन एज कॉन्टैक्ट प्रेसर स्ट्रेस और प्रेसर डेवलप ड्यू टू व्हील लोड ओवर द टायर प्रिंटेड इज नॉन एज कॉन्टैक्ट प्रेसर द प्रेसर इन अ इन्फ्लेटेड रबर ट्यूब अफ अ टायर इज टायर प्रेसर और इन्फ्लेसन द प्रेसर इन द प्रेसर इन एन इन्फ्लेटेड रबर ट्यूब अफ अ टायर इज टायर प्रेसर और इन्फ्लेसन द इन्फ्लुएंस अफ टायर प्रेसर इज प्री डोमिनेटिंग फैक्टर इन द अपर लेयर्स द इन्फ्लुएंस अफ टायर प्रेसर इज प्री डोमिनेटिंग फैक्टर्स इन द अपर लेयर्स एट अ ग्रेटर डेप द इफेक्ट अफ टायर प्रेसर डिमिनेसेस एंड द टोटल लोड एक्जिबिट्स कंसिडरेबल इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन अ पर्टिकल स्ट्रेस मैग्नेट्यूड एट अ ग्रेटर डेप द इफेक्ट अफ टायर प्रेसर डिमिनेसेस एंड द टोटल लोड एक्जिबिट्स कंसिडरेबल इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन अ ऑन द पर्टिकल स्ट्रेस मैग्नेट्यूड द हायर टायर प्रेसर रिक्वायर्स हाई क्वांटिटी ऑफ हाई क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्फेसिंग मेटेरियल इन अपर लेयर्स ऑफ द पेमेंट विदाउट इफेक्टिंग द टोटल लेप्थ ऑफ द पेमेंट द हायर टायर प्रेसर रिक्वायर्स हाई क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्फेसिंग मेटेरियल इन अपर लेयर्स ऑफ द पेमेंट विदाउट इफेक्टिंग द टोटल डेप्थ ऑफ द पेमेंट कॉन्टैक्ट प्रेसर एजिम बी इक्वल टू द टायर प्रेसर कॉन्टैक्ट प्रेसर एजिम बी इक्वल टू द टायर प्रेसर टायर प्रेसर बने को लोड अफ लोड अन विल डिवाइड बाई कंटैक्ट एरिया एरिया अफ इम्प्रिंट टायर प्रेसर बने को लोड अफ लोड अन विल डिवाइड बाई कंटैक्ट एरिया एरिया अफ इम्प्रिंट सेवेन के जी पर सेंटीमिटर स्क्वायर एजिमिंग कन्स्टैंट लोड कंटैक्ट एरिया स्मल टायर प्रेसर इज हायर कंटैक्ट एरिया स्मल टायर प्रेसर इज हायर कंटैक्ट एरिया हायर टायर प्रेसर इज स्मल कंटैक्ट एरिया हायर टायर प्रेसर इज स्मल रिजिडिटी फैक्टर रिजिडिटी फैक्टर इज द रेसियो ऑफ कंटैक्ट प्रेसर टू टायर प्रेसर रिजिडिटी फैक्टर इज द रेसियो ऑफ कंटैक्ट प्रेसर टू टायर प्रेसर वेहीकल स्पीड अकॉर्डिंग टू पिस्को इलास्टिक थ्योरी स्पीड इज डाइरेक्टली रिलेटेड टू द ड्यूरेसन अफ लोडिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू पिस्को इलास्टिक थ्योरी स्पीड इज डाइरेक्टली रिलेटेड टू द ड्यूरेसन अफ लोडिंग देर फर हायर स्पीड अफ वेहीकल डिजाइरेबल देर फर हायर हायर स्पीड अफ वेहीकल डिजाइरेबल ग्रेटर द स्पीड द लार्जर द मोड लस एंड द स्मलर द स्ट्रेंथ्स इन द पेमेंट ग्रेटर द स्पीड द लार्जर द मोड लस एंड द स्मलर द स्ट्रेंथ्स इन द पेमेंट फॉर इज प्लास्टिक लेयर द रेसिल द रेसिलियन मोड लस विल बी सिलेक्टेड बेस्ड ऑन वेहीकल स्पीड फॉर इज प्लास्टिक लेयर द रेसिलियन मोड लस विल बी सिलेक्टेड बेस्ड ऑन वेहीकल स्पीड रिपिटेशन अफ लोड्स रिपिटेशन अफ व्हील लोड कजेज पेमेंट डिस्ट्रेस रिपिटेशन अफ व्हील लोड कजेज पेमेंट डिस्ट्रेस इट इज नेसरी टू सिलेक्ट द डिजाइन वेहीकल एंड एक्सेस द टोटल नंबर अफ रिपिटेशन अफ एक्जल लोड्स ड्यूरिंग पेमेंट लाइफ इट इज नेसरी टू सिलेक्ट द डिजाइन वेहीकल एंड एक्सेस द टोटल नंबर अफ रिपिटेशन अफ एक्जल लोड्स ड्यूरिंग पेमेंट लाइफ एज द एज द ट्राफिक फ्लो इज मिक्स द नंबर अफ रिपिटेशन अफ लोड इज एक्सप्रेस इन टर्म्स अफ एंड इक्वेल एंड नंबर अफ स्टैंडर्ड एक्जल्स एज द ट्राफिक फ्लो इज मिक्स द नंबर अफ रिपिटेशन अफ लोड इज एक्सप्रेस इन टर्म्स अफ एंड इक्वेल एंड नंबर अफ स्टैंडर्ड एक्जल्स द स्टैंडर्ड एक्जल लोड जेनरली यूज इन एटी किलोमिटन द स्टैंडर्ड एक्जल लोड जेनरली यूज इन एटी किलोमिटन इक्वेल एंड सिंगल व्हील लोड ई एस डब्ल्यू एल ई एस डब्ल्यू एल द ई एस डब्ल्यू एल कैन बी डिटरमाइन फ्रम थियोरिटिकल क्याकुलेटर और एक्सपेरिमेंटल इमेज और स्ट्रेस ट्रेन और डिफ्लेक्शन द ई एस डब्ल्यू एल कैन बी डिटरमाइन फ्रम थियोरिटिकल क्याकुलेटर और एक्सपेरिमेंटल इमेज और स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेन और डिफ्लेक्शन Based on a theoretical consideration of the particle stress, BOID and Foster pre- presented a semi-rational method of determining ESWL, which had been used by the corps of engineers to produce dual wheel design criteria from single wheel criteria. Based on theoretical consideration of the particle stress, BOID and Foster presented a semi-rational method for determining ESWL. Which had been used by the corps of engineers to produce dual wheel design criteria from single wheel criteria. BOID and Foster method. Log 10 ESWL. One ego. Log 10 P plus 0.301. Log 
z by d by 2 all divided by log 10 2 s d by 2 environmental factors the environmental factors such temperature and precipitation ports affects the elastic modulus of the various layers of the pavement uh, the environmental factors such uh, temperature and precipitation both affects the elastic modulus of the various layers of the pavement high temperature as well layer may lose their stiffness high temperature ma as well layer <laughs> may lose their stiffness Low temperature ma asphalt layer may cause crack. Low temperature ma asphalt layer may cause crack. In concrete pavement, during daytime, the temperature at top is higher than that or at the bottom. The slab curves down so that its interior may not be in contact with the subgrade. In concrete pavement, during daytime, the temperature at top is higher than that at the bottom. The slab curves down so that its interior may not be in contact with the subgrade. At night time, the temperature at top is lower than that at the bottom. At night time, the temperature at top is lower than that at bottom. The slab curls upwards so that its edges and corners may not be in contact with the subgrade. At not at night time, the temperature at top is lower than that at the bottom. The slab curls upwards so that its edges and corners may not be in contact with the subgrade, which affects the stresses in concrete due to wheel loads and also affects on the efficient soil efficient load transfer which affects the stresses in concrete due to wheel loads and also affects on the efficient load transfer rainfall affect the moisture condition in the subgrade and the pavement layers rainfall affect the moisture condition in the subgrade and the pavement layers the major changes that affect the pavement performance are change in moisture content in subgrade soil change in moisture content in subgrade soil and frost action Pavement components materials. Pavement components materials. The stress distribution characteristics of the pavement component layers depend on characteristics of material used. The stress distribution characteristics of the pavement components layer depend on the characteristics of material used. The fatigue behavior of the pavement materials and their durability under adverse conditions will be considered aggregate behavior sadness. The stress distribution characteristics of the pavement components layer depend on the characteristics of material used. The, <coughs> the fatigue behavior of the pavement materials and their durability under adverse conditions should be considered aggregate behavior or hardness. Failure criteria. Failure criterion is established to specify different types of distress. Failure criteria. Failure criterion is established to specify different types of distress. Example, inflexible pavement, fatigue cra cracking, rotting and thermal cracking. Example inflexible pavement, fatty cracking, rotting, and thermal cracking. In rigid pavement, pumping and erosion. Other major distress includes faulting, spalling, joint, joint, joint deterioration. In rigid pavement, pumping and erosion. Other major distress includes faulting, spalling, joint deterioration. Design of flexible pavement. Design of flexible pavement. Design method. Theoretical method, semi empirical or semi theoretical method, triaxial method, triaxial test, Burmester test, empirical method. So, empirical method, ma, group index method, GI method, CVR method, IRC method, design procedure in road node 29 and 31, ASTO method, asphalt institute method. Empirical method. Group index method, GI method, CVR method, IRC method, design procedure in road, node 29 and 39. Design procedure in road. <coughs> uh, ASTO method, Asphalt Institute method. CVR method. CVR method, the California bearing ratio, CVR, is a penetration test for evaluation of the mechanical strength of road subgrades and base courses the california bearing ratio cbr is a penetration test for evaluation of the mechanical strength of road subgrades and base courses it was developed by the california department of transportation it was developed by the california department of transportation <coughs> the total thickness of individual courses can be designed in this method the total thickness of individual courses can be designed in this method CBR values of individual materials used in particular layer are found in laboratory test.
CBR values of individual materials used in particular layer are found in laboratory test. Total thickness of the construction for the given value of CBR, CBR can be determined corresponding to the total number of commercial vehicles per day by using standard curves. Total thickness of the construction for the given value of CBR can be determined corresponding to the total number of commercial vehicles per day by using standard curves. From US curves of engineers have determined the relationship between pavement thickness, wheel load, tire pressure and CBR. From US curves of engineers have determined the relationship between pavement thickness, wheel load, tire pressure and CBR that is T equal to under root P 1.75 divided by CBR minus 1 by P pi uh, the power of 1 by 2 equal to 1.75 P divided by CBR um, <coughs> minus A by pi uh, co power 1 by 2 where T when I go thickness of pavement CM P when I go wheel load in kg P when I go tire small P when I go tire pressure in kg per centimeter square capital A when I go area of contact CM square <coughs> Two method CBR method recommended by California State of Highways CBR method recommended by IRC CBR method recommended by California State of Highways data required for flexible payment design CBR value of soil subgrade CBR value of sub base course CBR value of base course wheel load in kg or kilometer wheel load is classified into three groups based on traffic condition light traffic uh, 31 3175 kg medium traffic 4082 kg heavy traffic 5443 kg <coughs> 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 flexible payment uh, design procedure calculation of total thickness t from the chart of form from the chart for given cbr value of soil subgrade and wheel load value select appropriate thick curve value of combined thickness of surface base and sub base line which will give the total thickness of pavement from the chart for given cbr value of soil subgrade and wheel load value select appropriate thick curve value of combined thickness of surface base and sub base line which will give the total thickness of pavement calculation of sub base course thickness tsp from chart for given CBR value of sub base course material and for wheel load read the thickness of pavement which is above the soil sub base it is denoted by as TSP find TSP that is thickness of sub base course therefore thickness of sub base course TSP one ago capital T minus TSP calculation of base course thickness TB similar to the upper procedure from the CBR value of base course and wheel load read the value of thickness of pavement which is above the base course TS from this we can find out the value of TB that is thickness of the base course TB one ago TSB minus TS 10 TS one ago T minus TB minus TS CBR method recommended by IRC Indian Road Congress um, in this method the chart contains several curves A B C D E F G uh, which will represent the different level of traffic intensities Based on this, we will find uh, out the layer thickness. Data required for design. CBR value of soil subgrade. CBR value of sub base course. CBR value of base course. Traffic intensity. Uh, <coughs> for the <coughs> uh, flexible pavement design procedure, calculation of total thickness from the from the given value of traffic intensity select appropriate curve from the classification table which is shown in the below chart now from the given CBR value of sub grade soil read the total thickness T with respect to selected curve calculation of sub base course thickness TSB from chart for given CBR value of sub base course material and for wheel load read the thickness of pavement which is above the soil sub base it is denoted by as TSB. Find TSB that is thickness of sub base course. Therefore, thickness of sub base course one ago TSB uh, equal to T minus SB. Yo yo one ago agi ke 
अगी गए हो आना सो आज अगला कंटिन्यू नहीं थी ना हो अम्मी और को भाई और को भी जमा नहीं मिल कर लेता